competition games because that is the way to really win at Happy Farmer, especially the bowing pattern that kicks off our first phrase that is repeated six times throughout the piece. So we would like to get it right, not wrong. You will want to find a number of the same thing. That might be 10 10 cent pieces, $10 coins, 10 five cent pieces, 10 Lego men, doesn't really matter, but you want about 10 of them. And you start by saying, well, can you win one off me? Have a go. Up, down, down, up, up. Oh, not a bad idea to drill it like this. Up, down, down, up, up. You know, 20 times. Up, down, down, up, up. And then sing. D3, one, three, three. Or you can sing the note names. You can sing whatever you want. Hi ho, hi ho, it's up to work I go. Whatever floats your boat. Again, up, down, down, up, up. Good, great. If that is proving enough of a challenge for today, then you play this game with just that bowing idea. So here we go. When you get it right, you get one. If you get it wrong, mum gets it back again. The aim of the game, obviously, is to get all of the things. No. So, I have my stack of 12 magnets. I am going to play the start of Happy Farmer 12 times. And I feel like if you have a go at playing along with me, or listen to me do it 12 times, or watch me do it 12 times, or, I don't know, mime it. You don't even need a violin, you can just do it with your body you'll be feeling much better equipped to play this game at home. So we start with an up bow. I'm starting on the D string. And I like to start with a sniff and when I sniff, my bow gets sucked up to my nose because I sniff in with such force. Ready, play. Down. too much about what your fingers are doing just try and catch the bow pattern ready set up down up second one okay I'm going again ready set sniff down up cool uh, right now you, you may be doing this That's awesome, fantastic practice. The more practice of the bow direction you do, the better. I will keep playing the fingers because the more you hear them, the easier it is for you to play. Ready, sniff. Down. Up. Yeah. I'm gonna do it twice more and then turn around and show you my fingers. Ready, snap. Ready, set, sniff. Down. I'm nearly halfway. Ready, set, play. Down. Up. Okay, I'm halfway. Six over there, six over here. I'm gonna turn around so you can see my fingers dancing. And you might notice that I'm stopping my bow really strongly before I cross. It's a, it's a good practice habit when you're starting to learn this piece. One and two. Do you remember hopping that third finger across? This idea? I hope you've been practicing it when you play. If you want to pause me here and play the start of Minuet three, five times, go for it. Okay, so you're really fantastic at that third finger hopping because you've done it so many times in Minuet three. You can get very nimbly from A to D. There is none of this collapsing business. No, we don't do that. We are hopping. One and two. Hop. Aha. Not fall over myself. Ready, set, hop. One and two. Hop. Woo. I've done it nine times. Now, please remember, 
practiced this thousands of times, like literally thousands. So as you're practicing this, it might actually look a bit more like, oh, I got one, I lost two. I got three, I lost two. I don't know, that's completely fine. But if you play this game every day, in like five or six days, you'll just win all 10 at once. I've got 12 because I, I'm a bit of overkill. So I have eight on this side now and I have four on this side because I like doing a bit extra. Everyone else does 10. I probably need to do 12. That's just me, I'm a slow learner. Okay, here I go. Art bow first, ready, play. One and two. down to three. I'm going to play it once like this so that you can see my bow crossing. Okay, so you can see D, D, A, A, D, and see that I'm really stopping my bow? I'm not lying to you when I say you should stop before you cross. Ready? Sniff. Woo! So my bow is on the new string before I play the new string. There's a split second where you could take a photo and see my bow on the new string, but I haven't made a sound yet. Ready? You can see the bow angle again. Ready, play. One and two, cross. One and two, cross. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. Ready, set, sniff. my 12 magnets on the other side, the victory side. Now, I'll play you the whole piece. Um, if you want to play along, you totally can. Just go for it on the D string. Just learn the bowing pattern. Count how many times that interesting up, down, down, up, up happens. And this is a good piece to think about the form. So like blue part, blue part, pink part, blue part with a green ending, pink part, blue part with a green ending. Uh, whatever story you want, you can map it out with Lego pieces. You can highlight your music so that you've got the idea of different blocks or different phrases. And yeah, like I said, it's a great piece to think about musical structure and repeating phrases. And we've been doing that since Twinkle. When we talk about Twinkle Sandwich, part A, part B, part A again, or May Song, or Allegro, or long, long ago, all of these pieces we've already talked about form. It's just that now the phrases are a bit longer. Here's the whole piece. One and two. Bowing working, the next thing to tackle is this idea. Second finger hopping, it's so easy, it's tricky. No one ever wants to play that second D, but that's all it is. Practice that 10 times. And now the next phrase that we often get a little stuck on is this. It's a bit like playing etude backwards. It's a little bit of a finger twister. So try just playing the first note. First finger on A with an up row. No, okay, do that again. No, okay, one more time. That was dead easy. Let's play 
one, two, and it's so easy because these notes are a semitone apart. B, C, so you put one, put two right beside it, done. That simple. Go again. Ready, go. Ready, go. One more time. Stop. Listen. Yeah, yeah, that, that's how easy it was. Listen again. Ready, play. Yeah. Of course, you don't really have to flick your fingers. I'm just making that really obvious that we're playing A then D. Right? Just in case you're working too hard and trying to put extra notes down, it's just an A and a D. Ready, play. A, D. Yeah, and make sure you stop before you cross, otherwise we get it's Ready, play. Now, get that second finger back on, and the one's going to follow it. It's like turning our first phrase inside out. Two, one, yeah. Let you have a listen. Mm -hmm. Ready, play. Nice. Make sure pinky's nice and curvy. Make sure thumb's curvy. Make sure this one's tappable. Okie dokie, go. Mm -hmm. Let's add the last little bit on. It's a third finger diving to the D string. Ready, play. Ready, play. Again, I'll turn around in case you need to see my fingers. Ready, play. Two, one, three on D. Ah, then we finish off. Walk it down. Super easy, right? So that little phrase. Is another really good woo, win all your dots, win your dollar off mum or your ten dollars or whatever you're playing with, and don't do it on the same day that you did the bowing challenge. Okay, just hold your horses. This is for maybe three or four days down the track. Yeah. Now you've done all that work. You're really good at those sections. The second chunk of the piece, this part. <laughs> It's so much easier because it's the bowing we've been practicing for a week already. Up, down, down, up, cross, up. Super simple. Okay. Do we do it 12 times? What do you reckon? Six times. Six times. Because we did the first part 12 times. This part should be a lot easier to learn. So let's uh, start with this. Count, count. Oh, six. There we go. Six on each side. Let me get rid of my six dots so you know I'm not cheating. D string, go. Two, one, A, D. Yeah, it's really easy, right? Because the open strings, nothing for the left hand to do. Ready, go. One and two and one and two and. Yes. Go again. Ready, D. One and two and one and two. Ready, play. I should have said snip because it starts with an up bow. This piece always starts on an up beat, which means it always starts on an up bow. So you have to inhale into the first note. Ready, sniff. Okay, last one. Just gonna make sure I'm counting my note value as well. So dot a crotchet quaver, dot a crotchet quaver. So I've got one and a half beats, half a beat, one and a half beats, half. Okay. And one and two and one and two and. That can help sometimes if you're getting a bit tangled. Da yun, da yun, da. I just like counting it out properly and saying one and two and one and two and. Here we go. Last dot. 
Ready? Play. One and two and one and two and. Super. Success. Uh, you can probably play this. I feel like you can play that because that's kind of already been in minuet one and minuet two and minuet three, right? And etude. That's easy. Okay. You know all the bits to Happy Farmer. So I will finish off playing it slightly faster than I did before uh, with slightly less staccato. If you are still learning this piece, then please stop your bow strongly before you cross. If you're feeling more confident about it and you've just followed along with me the whole way, then you might like to find a little bit more legato in your tone, but oh, totally your choice. One and two. One and two and 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 Let me know how you get on. I hope that this was of use.